Hello world, this is what's up 2190 and today I'm going to be showing you how to translate XLR encrypted strings into binary, um, how to translate um, what a certain compilation of binary letters means in letters, I mean of binary numbers, sorry, means in letters, and uh, also somewhat what how to decrypt XLR encrypted text strings. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the calculator. And uh, what I've got here is that I'm going to be showing you first is an XLR encrypted test string, text string, and it mean and it says password. So I'm going to be showing you what all these different letters mean in binary, translate to in binary, and uh, how to decrypt the XLR. Let me type all that in. Uh, pattern that I'm going to be clicking the numbers in isn't going to be the only possible pattern of the word that you're trying to translate from XOR to readable text. So that's why I kind of want to say it only partially for that one. So that's why I'll say that I'm only sh partially showing you how to translate XOR to encrypt to understandable text because it, you're going to be changing the letters around here by changing binary numbers and unless you know binary off by heart which is pretty much impossible to I think then um, this could just lead to a lot of different combinations if I need to switch these binary numbers around to to get a part of that or a translation that makes sense so anyway on this just click as I click to translate this to the word password. I'll just click SCI, and you can see that 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 this um, strip of XLR encrypted text, and uh, and also this order of numbers in binary means the word password. So now I'm going to be showing you another example. Um, I'm just showing you what the word hidden means in binary and also XOR encryption. Type, I'm going to type 
four, six, four, six, five, six, e. And you can see that the that um, this XOR encrypted string means hidden, and that these letters in binary mean hidden. And you can also get the Unicode meaning if you want, which is that little sign. Um, so anyway, have fun with this. This I'm not responsible for any damage that you can that you do with this trick. And uh, this is what's up to 190, and uh, I am signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.